Hello and welcome back to Adamax Tutorials. This week we're making this t-shirt. It used to be just an ordinary blue t-shirt. Turn it into this. So this tutorial will be made out of two parts. This is the first part. We're gonna insert some lace into this t-shirt. This is just a simple uh, blue t-shirt that I had left over from my uh, Doctor Who t-shirt tutorial and I thought I'd do something else fun with it. If you want to only see the reverse dye part of this video then please click here and uh, it will take you to further on in the video. Uh, but if you want to see how to do this lace insertion then keep on watching. So for this uh, you will need a pair of scissors, a t-shirt, some lace and a sewing machine, maybe some pins. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this blue t-shirt and chop a part of the sleeve off and then instead of the sleeve part we're going to insert a little bit of lace. I am going to do this on a sewing machine but technically you could also do this by hand if you don't have a sewing machine. It will be a bit faster uh, using a sewing machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a bit of this uh, sleeve and I think I want to keep the bottom part of it so I'm just going to cut until I have a narrow bit here at the top. This is what I took off. So I'm going to use the bit I cut off from the other sleeve on the other side as a sort of pattern, like so. I want this uh, one flower to be sort of at the top of my sleeve, so I fold it in half there and I'm placing the lace over and checking if I like the placement of the, the pattern. Um, I'm placing it a little bit at an angle, so the top will be a bit longer than the bottom. I'm just going to roughly chop it off to length. Of course you need a similar piece for the other side as well. Alright, now you have uh, roughly cut out your design, lay it on top of the sleeve. Now what you want to do is cut it off with a little bit of overlap uh, so you have, to have something to stitch on to. Um, what I'll be doing is actually pinning the two sides together so they don't move. So make sure that the top where it's folded connects up with the folded bit of your shoulder seam there and the bottom uh, connects up with the bottom of the sleeve and just make it a nice round shape like you put. Now I'm just going to copy that onto the other piece of lace so I have two for the other side as well. Now we want to pin this into our sleeve. Now you do want to fold this over at least once so you don't get any ragged edges. You may want to do the top and the bottom first so it doesn't move around too much anymore. Pin it all along the edge. Turn it over. The same on the other side. And this is what it looks like when it's all pinned in. In order to stitch it in, I'm going to remove this part of the sewing machine. So it's a bit narrower. Once you've pinned it in, maneuver it under the sewing machine. And make sure to set your stitch to a slight zigzag, since the jersey is a bit stretchy. And it will make it the, your life a little bit easier. Do note that the jersey may move as you try and stitch it. So it's going to be a little bit annoying at times. I'm gonna line up this little stripe on my uh, sewing machine foot with the edge of the t-shirt and hopefully that will keep it somewhat straight. Try not to stretch the t-shirt too much while you sew over it. That helps as well. You do get a bit of wrinkling. Put the needle in the fabric Lift up your foot, try and straighten out the wrinkle and then set it down again. Cut off any of the remaining thread and rinse and repeat for the other sleeve. And this is what the t-shirt looks like after I have stitched in the sleeves. But I'm not done with this t-shirt yet. Follow me outside for the next step. Alright, welcome outside. I want to show you what you'll need for this project. I've laid most of it out here on the floor, so I'm just gonna move the camera around and talk about it. First of all, you'll need a t-shirt. Um, also, you will need some gloves. You need a plastic bag. 
and something to lie your t-shirt on. The plastic bag will be put inside the t-shirt so the bleach doesn't get through to the other side. You will need some ordinary kitchen bleach and what I've done is I mixed up some in this uh, spray bottle. Uh, now this has a little bit of water in it as well. Now when I was initially researching this online I couldn't really find what the ratio water to bleach should be. Uh, now this is a 250 ml spray bottle and what I did is I put 150 milliliters of, of bleach in here and uh, I filled the rest up with water. So yeah, we're looking at, what is that, two to three-ish? <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll see how that works. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't want to make it too strong and burn holes in my t-shirt, but at the, on the other hand, if you make it too liquidy, you don't get that spatter effect that some people are after, so keep that in mind. Then you'll need something uh, as a, uh, a pattern. Now I have two things here. Uh, one of them is a wall sticker. That's this one, so that's self-adhesive, just so I can just stick it on. That's probably the easiest to use, so I'm going to try that first. Um, I also have a doily. Um, now, what I've read online is that you could use something like this, a temporary fabric uh, stick-on thing, to attach it to your t-shirt. Um, so that's another option. I haven't tried this yet. Maybe I'll try it on the other side, but I don't know how that will work if the front is wet, but we'll see if I have a chance to try it and otherwise I'll do it in a different video. All right, let's get started. Put on your gloves and I'm gonna place the plastic bag inside my t-shirt. So I'm just gonna place my design in the middle of the t-shirt. So this is a wall sticker actually. I initially bought this because it was really cheap, not that I really wanted it on my walls, but I'm happy to have found a different uh, way of using it. Of course you could also cut out your own design, but I do recommend using something like a vinyl or something to do that out of if you want to use it on a t-shirt. If you are interested in seeing me do one of these with a cut out of my own that I've designed myself, let me know in the comments below and see if I can do that because it might actually be quite interesting. But let's see how this goes first. So, there, that's the design on. Okay, putting my gloves back on. I heard it's wise to be quite gentle with the amount of bleach you use and be patient because it takes a little while. Just see how this sprays on the side here. Let's go. Now I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes and see what it does. Now don't be alarmed if it doesn't turn uh, the color you expect it to turn. Some t-shirts uh, dyes ex uh, exist out of different colors, so sometimes it will change a different shade than you expect to. I don't know what this blue will do, but we'll see. And maybe it wasn't enough. I'm just going to give this another go. I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to change somewhat a little bit more purplish in the middle. It's not exactly very light, but it is changing color ever so slightly. I'm just gonna leave this for five to ten minutes and then I'll come back to you. I don't know if you can tell, but there are some areas here that are starting to turn slightly pinkish almost. I think that's where the bleach is totally drying up now. There it's getting pink. But I think, like I said, patience is key here. I'm just gonna give it a, not a little while. See along this edge here and here in the middle also, it's starting to turn pink. I found out that if you just half squeeze this bottle, you can get these really cool drops. So I did that a couple of specks around it because I think it looked really cool. Depends on what you want, of course. If you want a very sleek surface, then it's great if you just spray all the way and you have this fine mist. But I actually quite like that sort of beach blobby. <laughs> so we're getting to the stage where I cannot like hold my curiosity much longer. So I'm just going to blot off the, um, the bleach that's still on the design. And let's do the big reveal. Gotta say, this wall sticker worked quite well. It's a bit of a pain in the arse to remove, but... 
Now I'm gonna rinse this out in cold water and you should probably wash it in the washing machine afterwards. Um, but since I want to show you this, I'm just gonna rinse it uh, to, dye, uh, to rinse out the bleach and then I'll be back once it's dry and I'll show you the end result. Hey everyone, this is the completed shirt. I hope you like it, hope you can actually see this on the camera. Um, I think this worked really well with the wall sticker. Um, I did actually try out the doily as well, but I wasn't as happy with the result. Um, I think it's on the back, <laughs> but I think there's ways of perfecting it. So maybe I'll do another video on that at some point. Also the video was getting a bit long, so I thought I'd cut it short. Uh, if you're interested in more of these reverse dye bleach t-shirt uh, tutorials, then let me know and I'll see if I can do yet another one. I hope you like this sort of double tutorial of two different techniques. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, check out my social media and I hope to see you next week. Bye everyone!